This is me 360 way process Rashad and today's video is me giving y'all seven magnificent tips on how to get the best results from your whooping session. Now I am whooping right now and I will take the do-rag off in just a few seconds but I just want to let y'all know we're gonna start it off with the tips quick and early. Boost the like button first all right I'm about to go get my hair cut in a second but look man you're gonna need a good do-rag all right I'm gonna just drop that tip right off the front so that's tip number one have a good do-rag if your do-rag is not good then what you are gonna find out is that your hair is not getting laid down and being kept laid down very well and if your hair is not laid down very well when you are whooping you're not gonna get the best results all right and as we know the point of whooping is to allow yourself to use that time to keep putting in brush work boom 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 so that when you get that fresh cut like i'm about to get in a moment maximize your results all right so i'm about to unrag real quick hold up boom i'm whooping i got the 3wp club brush in hand right now it's just a cool little brush to take with me in the barber shop because it's small it's gonna fit in my pocket you know i got the basketball shorts on right now yeah man well, it's, it's about that time for a fresh cut the only thing is with that club brush is pretty small that that comes in handy for certain spots like for example right here right here on the edges it fits in there unlike when you got bigger brushes these are good because they get more space but it's hard to customize certain spots you know what i'm saying like right now i'm brushing the back half of the brush is off my head unlike with this club brush you know what I'm saying? It's getting that spot, and then I could just shift quick, boom. But yeah, I'm about to head in there. Um, my appointment started at 11:15, and it's 11:22, so let me get in there. When I come back after I get my hair cut, I'm gonna show y'all my results, and I'm gonna give y'all uh, the rest of the tips so that you can learn how to get the best results from whiffing. Before I get my hair cut, I like to comb it out because that just lift the hair up the scalp. Normally my barber do it, but you know what I'm saying? Shoot, I'm doing it right now because I want y'all to know that's a good thing to do. It just allow your hair to get cut easier. Sometimes your barber may not do it, you know? And you might not get the best results from your haircut. So I'm doing it right now and then I brush it down real lightly real light like I'm not putting no pressure with this brush I'm just laying it down from the top layer it's a good idea if you got a soft brush get you like a soft 3wp brush and then go over it after you comb it up that'd be the easiest way but if you don't have a soft brush you could use a medium brush but just don't put pressure because you're not trying to lay it back down right after you combed it up you're just trying to lay that top layer down I'm about yeah. to head up in there before I miss my appointment, y'all. Yeah. Sexy way process that's the name of the brand. My niggas selling brushes and do rags. Cause of a limited tempo, how you build from the ground. Black entrepreneur making money, I like the sound. Putting in that brush with none of the super crazy. No, this ain't no perm, nigga. Why you niggas hating? Consistency is key, that's why they never made it. Should've copped that 3W Pusicki, it's amazing. If not for yourself, then do it for the ladies. If not buy your sponge, cause a lot of niggas lazy. If you up for the challenge, can be dedicated daily. No, the process ain't quick, gotta show a lot. Of patience, we've been waving on you niggas. What you say? What you say? Nigga, I'm the man. I'm the man. Sexy is the fan. It's the fan. P coming to your city, but the land. Ain't got no brush with you, nigga. You just playing. You just playing. Find yourself stuck with shot to take it through the bases. Check out this channel if you really trying to make it. He got what you need from brushes to grease. He even got the videos that teach the techniques. What angles to brush your connections is weak. What do rag to wear when you lay down to sleep. What methods to use after slacking for weeks. A couple quick. Tips to get you back at your peak. The OG Blue Edition was the first one for me. The wood grain is useful when you whoop in for weeks. The fire black brush of red bristles is a beast. Then brushes got more pulled in the tight at your feet. This a wave check, nigga, tryna see if you a poser. Better have them dips under your shit or will exposure. Vortex of wave is coming together for the culture. Whoever got the best wave, they claim to the trophy. You part of wave, fam, you know some facts that's been spoken. Racks is so comfy on your head like it was chosen. Applying curling has a smoothie, nigga. That's ain't lotion, oil bring out the shine, ways we gleaming glowing. We 
We've been waving on you niggas, what you say? What you say? Nigga, I'm the man. I'm the this man. This is the fan. It's the fan. VIP coming to your city, but the land. But the land ain't no problem. All right, I'm leaving a barber shop. Appreciate my barber for the excellent service. Thank you, Matt. Now left the barber shop, about to head home. Waves are on swim, hopefully. I didn't really look at the mirror yet. Normally I look at the mirror, but you know what I'm saying? I don't gotta look at the mirror like that. My barber always do a good job. I'm gonna check it out when I go home and I'm gonna give y'all the rest of the tips. Let's go, Ocean Squad. Boost that like button if you didn't boost it yet, man. Yeah, I'm about to unrag, show y'all the results of the haircut again. So I got a brush nearby. You know I keep a brush nearby. 3WP, Fiery Black Edition. Fresh Cut King. All right. And yeah, make sure y'all stay tapped in. Hit that like button and turn on channel notifications. I got some new brushes coming out soon, all right? So I'm about to unrag. Let's see. I don't know if y'all ready for this. Drum roll, please. All right, look, I'm gonna give y'all one tip before I uh, unrag fully. The second tip that I'm gonna give y'all, because I already gave y'all the first tip. The second tip is to enjoy the wolf, man. I truly believe that if you don't enjoy the process of woofing, then you're not gonna do what it takes to maintain that woof, and you're just not gonna get the best results that you can be getting if you was enjoying the process of woofing and taking care of all the steps that you need to be taken care of, all right? so. So just take the time to just understand that woofing is a part of the process and that <clears throat> you just have to find, find some love in, in the woof, man. Go in the mirror and just look in the mirror and say, I love my woof. <laughs> All right, you gotta do something, bro. The third tip and my seven tips of taking care of your, your 360 waves while woofing is to switch it up. You need to switch it up, man. If you don't switch it up and find your optimal woofing time, then you're not gonna get the best results, and it's that simple. Now, I say that you need to switch it up because a lot of people just take a certain woofing time that let's just say I, I gave in my videos in the past and like, okay, he said Corsair waivers, woof for a freaking uh, four to six weeks, let me do that. Now, that advice may reign true for most Corsair waivers, but as you know, not all people's hair is the same. And so this is why I'm now urging you to understand that you need to try to switch it up a little bit because you might find that a longer woofing time is going to benefit you more than the time that I gave you in, in my rough estimate for m more, most coarse hair waivers or straight hair waivers and vice versa and all of that. You feel me? And so, like I said, if you've been woofing for four to six weeks on average, normally and you ain't never tried to woof for like eight or even nine weeks, then try it and see what happened. You might be surprised to find that you gain some progress and you make it to a level that you thought you wasn't gonna make because you've been stuck on the uh, flat level for a long time, you feel me? You see what I'm trying to say here? And so yeah, try it out, switch it up. And the worst case scenario is that you, you try to woof for a longer or a shorter period of time and you lose a little progress or you don't gain no progress. Before we go to tip number four, I'm about to really unrag, all right? This that 3WP Red Silky Do-Rag, that's available on 360wayprocess.com. It's a link in the description. All right, y'all ready? Make sure you boost the like button. This the result. You already know, the waves stay on swim. My name ain't 3WP Rashad for nothing. It's 
Sometimes I be slacking, but I already know how to um, maintain my waves even through slacking, you know what I'm saying? It's basically in the wolf. That's why I'm giving y'all these tips now. Like literally, sometimes I fall asleep without my 3WP do-rag going. But I know the maintenance process, especially when woofing. And if you take these tips that I'm giving you now and apply them, then you're gonna find that you can keep your waves on swim too without much effort after you put in the initial effort. It's like running up a hill. When you first start running up a steep hill, it's real difficult, right? You fighting gravity. But when you make it to the top, it's level. And it ain't as hard as when you're running up the hill. Now, when you get to the other side, the top, and you're ready to go downhill, you don't have to use much effort. Gravity on your side now. So that's what I'm saying with this, with woofing and 360 waves and knowing how to maintain them. Once you get the 360s on swim, maintaining them is like running downhill. I need my crown brush. Hold up, let me get a crown brush. Get the CMB brush. Got it, coach. Oh no, that ain't it. I got too many brushes, man. I really have an issue. All right, I, I didn't want to open a new one up, but I'm gonna have to. Oh, found it. Gang, gang. Ocean Squad. All right, crown work. Let's hit some crown work right now. And so that line was appearing. But once I started shifting and looking for that right angle, once I found it, close that line up quick. So yeah, that's just some crown work right there. Moving on to the next tip. Oh, God. The Safari Black Edition was almost sold out too. Shout out to everybody who got a Safari Black Edition. I know y'all love this brush. It's one of my favorite brushes, so I know it's gotta be one of y'all favorite brushes, if not y'all favorite brush. When these go out of stock, I'm gonna come out with some new ones. I ain't gonna speak on that yet. Just, just know I'm, I got some new heat drop in Ocean Squad. So stay tuned. I already know when I come out with new brushes, man, that help y'all stay motivated because y'all get that new heat. And yeah, man, it's just a dope thing to have a new brush. Make the wave game fun. And that's why one of my tips was just enjoy your work because if you ain't having fun, then Man, you just not getting a, you're not getting a true experience of being a waiver. But yeah, we moving on to that next tip. I already gave four tips, and we going on to tip number five. Drop that CMB brush. Oh, this is it. You need, for tip number five, this is very important right here, all right? And it, and it, oh, it draws right back to enjoy your woofing set time, all right? It's have fun with it. Find your favorite woofing brush, all right? Now I actually have a few favorite woofing brushes and I'm gonna share those with y'all right now. One, two, three, four, and five. These are the current brushes that I love to use when I'm woofing. The reason why I love these specific brushes right here, let me start with the soft brushes because I know many waivers hear soft brush and woofing and they think, why would you wanna use a soft brush when you woofing? Now, let me tell you, the reason why you would wanna use a soft brush, such as this Snow White Edition, that's available on 360wayprocess.com, is because when you woofing and your woof is laid down fully, a soft brush will just glide over the top and just be a great finisher brush. Now, I have a fresh cut now, but let me tell you, Soft brushes are great to use during low cuts because it just feels good on the scalp. 
it doesn't scratch your scalp, but if you really want to be an elite waiver and get your waves to the next level, you got to make sure you're doing more than just the basic stuff. You got to step your game up. Man. So now that you know why I like to use a soft brush, we're gonna move on to this medium brush. I don't have 360 weight processed shower brushes just yet, but this is the closest to a, a shower brush that I have. And so when I'm woofing, right after I get out the shower, because normally, like I told y'all, in my washing style, I, I never really do washing styles like that. Literally, that video of me doing a washing style was really one of my first times ever doing a washing style. What I normally do is brush my hair once I get out the shower. And so this brush right here, since it's wood grain, I don't have to worry about um, the paint getting soggy, et cetera, et cetera. Now it's not a shower brush. Don't, get, don't, don't confuse what I said and think that this is a shower brush. But it's the closest thing that I have. Also, as a daily brusher, as me going throughout my day, I tend to use medium brushes when I'm woofing. Now that's just me. If y'all been watching me since my early days, what I told y'all, my go-to is a medium brush. That still has not changed. Now, not everybody likes medium brushes, and I know that's for a fact. Don't ask me how. All right, I'm gonna tell you how, cause you're gonna, you, like, why would you say don't ask me how? How you know? All right, I know because I know what people be buying, all right? A lot of people like hard brushes. And I got the hard brushes right here. Now, originally I introduced this as a medium, as a, a hard medium, but I just, it's a hard brush. It's a, it's, but it's, it's, I had harder brushes than this before. And so that's why I introduced it as a hard medium. But some people complained that the 3WP red edition brush like this was too hard. They said this one was too hard in the beginning. And so, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't want to have a brush that was too hard. If it's too hard that a lot of people say that they can't even use it or they don't like to use it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's not the thing that I want. I want people to use their brushes. And so this one right here, it is a hard brush, but it, it's not the hardest that I've came out with before. But yeah, I like to, this is one of my favorite brushes. This is a lot of people's favorite brushes actually. Um, a lot of waivers hit me up and let me know like this is the best brush that they ever had. They say that this brush right here changed their wave pattern and took them to the next level. Yeah, they let me know that it's like it broke their forks, got their connections in and just took their waves to a whole different level. When I get those messages, it just really makes me feel good because I'm making a difference and I'm helping people out. So yeah, man, this one right here, the truth. One of the best brushes in the world. If you are wondering about what is your next brush that you should get, I suggest you get this one, all right? Until I come out with the new ones, at the end of the year. Told y'all. All right, so we moving on to the next brush. And this one right here is a hard brush. Now, a lot of people actually do like this brush. This one, let me compare these two. Yeah, this one is harder. So this is one of my hardest brushes that I have available now. So if you're looking for a brush that's kinda on the firm, firm side, this is the one that you should check out right here. This that cool blue 3WP fork breaker. Um, yeah, this gonna get you through the longest of woods. This camera keep messing up on a focus. I need a new camera, like what the heck? All right, but yeah, man. This one right here will get you through the longest wolf sessions. And it'll just go all the way down to the scalp and keep your wolf laid down. And that brings us to the next tip. Keep your wolf laid down, all right? A laid down wolf is a happy wolf. Just think of it as like if a wolf, if wolfing was like a legit live animal, a real wolf. If that wolf 
is not happy, then it's not like you won't get along with it. And the way you keep your wolf happy, or I, I messed up that uh, comparison. <laughs> Having, <laughs> oh my God, I messed it up. Let's just compare it to like if wolfing was like a real live animal, like a real wolf. To keep the wolf happy, you gotta keep the wolf fed with food. The way you feed your wolf is by brushing it. Uh, a hungry wolf is an unhappy wolf. If your wolf is starving for some brush work, then your wolf is gonna be unhappy and you're not gonna be happy either. Cause if that wolf ain't happy, it's gonna try and eat you. No, that, that don't make no sense because <laughs> your hair can't eat you. But look, if your wolf is not fed with brush work, then it's not going to be laid down. But that's just a short story of the wolf and keeping the wolf fed. All right. A story by 3 All right. But yeah, that's what I had to say about those brushes right there. And one thing you'll notice is that all of these brushes right here that I, I showed y'all for my wolf, they all have linear bristles. Don't get me wrong. I do use my oval handle brushes like this, especially around the crown area. But beyond that, I tend to reach for the fork breakers. Like right now, when you see me doing this, I'm brushing that crown with this pointed tip. Boom. That's all crown work. I love this brush for just easy crown work because that one, that pointed tip, that pointed curved tip, and then the handle, I'm able to reach back there effortless. But when I'm woofing, I tend to go towards these because most of the time that I spend brushing when woofing, I wanna try and keep forks away, all right? I don't wanna gain any new forks. As y'all notice, take a look at my waves. Do I have any new forks? Not really. You see any new forks? My waves right here in the back right, those are forming in. It used to never be waves right here. Effortless, effortless. All right, so we're moving on to the last tip for keeping your 360 waves looking good while woofing. Y'all ready, Ocean Squad? Boost the like button. And this final tip is, is an important tip, all right? Keep your eye out for product buildup. Actually, a lot of waivers like to wash their hair more than they should. So they probably don't even have to worry about product buildup like that, huh? How many times y'all be washing y'all hair per month? Let me know down in the comment section. That's gonna tell the truth. Comment now, all right? Don't worry, I'll wait. All right, so look, if you wash your hair more than three times in a month, you kind of overdoing it. Three times, that's a little high, but you know what I'm saying, that's acceptable. But any more than three times in a month, like that's like once every week. <sighs> Unless you got um, a sulfate-free shampoo or you co-wash, then you could, you know what I'm saying, you could wash your hair every day if you're using a co-wash. But that's a different story for our different video. I just want you to understand that when you're woofing, if your woof has a lot of product in there and that's easy for product buildup to occur, when you're woofing because you have more hair, it's harder for you to wash that, the products out for one and it's easier for it to just get clogged up, man. And so watch out for that product buildup. Go ahead and get you a co-wash so that you could wash your hair more frequently if you do put products in every day or if you're using a product that tends to build up after a while, all right? Now, me personally, I use oils for the most part and oils don't really build up. They're easy to wash out with water too. Rinse my hair, boom, 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 boom. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> All right, man, that's been the seven tips to take care of your 360 waves while woofing. I appreciate the support, Ocean Squad. Um, I'm gonna see you on my next video, my next wave check. I'm gonna do a LA wave check. I do have to come back to Charlotte. I know y'all been getting on me, my Ocean Squad members that live in Charlotte because I had to cancel that wave check, the one right after the New York wave check. But man, I'm gonna reschedule that, man. I owe y'all. 
all right? Some of y'all actually went out to it. Y'all, I guess y'all didn't see the, the cancellation post in time. And man, I'm sorry if you actually uh, went out there and then I wasn't there. Um, I'm gonna make that up to y'all. And I'm gonna come out there. We're gonna have a super lit wave check in Charlotte, all right? Um, but yeah, the next wave check I'm gonna do is my hometown, LA. And then I think I'm gonna go to the Bay Area because I do get support up there in North Cal. And yeah, man, we're gonna end this year off strong with the wave checks. And also, another thing, I'm about to, I don't wanna say I'm about to try, I wanna do. Drop a video every week all this month. It's, it's a wrap, I just said it. What's, what month is this? Oh, this is October. Frick. Okay, November. All November, I'm dropping a video every week, all right? So not this month, but this month is coming to a close. It's like, how many more days left? Like, it's almost, it's just like a week left. So November, every month in November, I'm dropping a video every day. Oh, hold up, hold up, cancel that. <laughs> every week in November, I will drop a video, all right? So that's four videos in the whole month. We about to get the Ocean Squad, boost the like button, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you on my next video, November 1st. Deuces, Psh.